Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brad, and welcome back to Scream Empire DDC, and uh, happy National Knife Day. So I figured on National Knife Day, uh, why not go over the entire collection? So I'm going to pivot the camera real quick for you guys. There are two cases. So there is that one and that one. Uh, these are both Harbor Freight cases. I believe they're 4800s. Um, the one on the right obviously has a, you know, two rows between here and these have singles. Uh, so just so you guys know, all in all, 102 knives, I know you're going to ask. Now, these are just the ones I own. They're not my wife's. They're also not the ones I have on loan right now. Uh, but with all of that, guys, let's get into the collection and talk about it. So I'm actually going to start with the small case over here. And we're just going to go through the knives one by one. Uh, so starting at the top, the stupidest one I own, the Shadow Ranger. Thank you, Lefty EDC. Don't buy this knife. This thing's awful, but also hilarious. Uh, next up, I don't even remember the name of this knife. Uh, it is the Gerber. Oh, it's the flat iron. Um, this is Rit Died by Me. This was actually a gift from my best friend, uh, Zach. After that, let's grab these fixies. Uh, gotta have a more nib if you're gonna have a fixie. Um, have a hinderer, Ooh, bump the camera, sorry about that, guys. Have a hinderer Emmet. There you go. Very cool little Bowie. Have a fixed blade from Cap City Creations. I believe this is his beater knife. Really do like this knife. Very nice in hand, guys. Very ergonomic. If you can grab one of these, grab it. You're gonna want one. Uh, after that, I have this little fixie from Brian Brown Knives, I believe is the Chuck. Interesting little knife. Uh, definitely scout carry with this sucker in this setup. And then my last fixed blade is going to be from, oh gosh, why am I going to forget this? Boatwright Blade Works, guys. Boatwright Blade Works. This one was made by Chase for me. Love this little thing. I believe this is his Esker model. Really like this knife. All right, so we have all those fixies out of the way. Let's set them back over here and get into more folding knives. <clears throat> so first and foremost, a knife you shouldn't buy. I will have a video about this in a bit. This is from Daily Carry Co. Uh, I don't even remember what this is. I think it's the Mag Blade. Yeah, something like that. Uh, don't buy this. Thing's dangerous as hell. Uh, after that, my favorite budgie knives right now. These are going to be from Rosecraft. So we have the little chunk, I think it is, little chunk, the mohawk, and the pocket monster. Very cool stuff that just came in from Rosecraft. Uh, discount code for a 10% off is pirate, guys. So uh, good stuff. Uh, really like those great budget knives. After that, we have the Ahab. This is going to be from Artisan Cutlery. This is designed by my friend Niche Designs. Very, very cool lightweight knife. Uh, after that, we have my two and only two Kaisers that are own, and they are both mini sheepdogs. <laughs> so that'll tell you what designs I like. Uh, very cool. This one was customized for me, uh, and obviously the bottom one is the 10V1. So very cool stuff there. Uh, after that, my Civivis. So here are two Civivis that I have shown on the channel before. I don't even remember the names, guys. Uh, like both of them here. Uh, after that is an old Wii knife that they don't even make anymore. They used to be around 100 bucks. Got this in a spooky swap off of, I think it was Knife Club on Reddit. So yeah, I really do like this one. And then finally, in my budget Wii Civivis, I have the Thug 2.0. Um, going to be doing a full review on this guy. I really, really like this for the price point, around 50 bucks. Um, after that, we have my four slip joints from Jack Wolf Knives. Now, I'm just going to pull these out of their uh, leather slips. Um, not going to open all of them up. There have been tons of pictures. They've been unboxings galore on these on the channel. But let me go ahead and toss those all in hand. So there you go, guys. There are my four slippies from Jack Wolf Knives. Um, next, considering slip joints, 
We have this. This is going to be from Antonini, and this is the old bear. It's very similar to an open. Let me get that focused up for you guys. There you go. All right, so slippies are out of the way. Let me go ahead and go into the next little group of knives. Uh, we have some QSPs. So I have two penguins, a titanium and a micarta. Great knife, my favorite budget knife of the year. I actually have the XL penguin right now and I have that review coming up soon. After that is the very first knife I ever bought for myself. This is a Kershaw knockout in L Max. I think this was like a mass drop exclusive at the time. I'd never seen one again, but yeah, very first pocket knife I bought myself. Uh, next, we have a knife that I got for free from ordering from Blade HQ. Uh, so this is a squid, but it's not just any squid. You can see it's been clip pointed. Uh, Niche Designs did that for me because he uh, wanted to play around with it. Uh, after that, we have my two rats. So I have a rat one and a rat two. Obviously, one has been customized for me. I feel like everyone should have these if you're a collector and if you're a reviewer, you obviously have them. Uh, after that, I have my one and only giant mouse. This is the Ace Grand. This is gonna be the one from St. Nick Knives. Um, then we have my mini opiate. Uh, I'm actually selling this one right now, guys, so if you're interested, let me know. Um, very cool knife, though. It just doesn't get the pocket time. Black Snow Customs design. After that, we have a BRS knife. I think this is the Evolve. Um, got it in a trade from a buddy. Uh, Interesting knife, not totally for me, but it is in the collection for right now. And then lastly in this case is the mini J Cape. Uh, once again, the St. Nick's edition, very cool little knife. I am selling this one, so if you are interested, let me know. All right, guys, that's case number one. Let's move over to case number two. Uh, so let's go ahead and start right to left. Uh, I do have these pretty well organized for myself or else I would never be able to find anything. So up first are my Benchmade. So we have a 940. Uh, after the pair of three in here, this is one of the first actually nice knives I bought myself. Um, then we have the Bug Out. I think it's the best Bug Out, the aluminum and M390 version. And then we have the best Benchmade which is the Anthem. I got this from Bearded Gear and he's not getting it back. This one's mine now. And then lastly, my final Benchmade that just came in, this is the Shootout. Uh, I had one on loan from Zach's stuff and I fell in love with it, so I bought my own. Uh, handled one of these at Blade Show and just great, great automatic knife. All right, guys, have those out of the way. So near the Benchmades, another access lock is going to be the Hogue. Now this is the RSK, I forgot what the, the mark, whatever it is. This is the Knifeworks exclusive, uh, the big boy. I put some blackout hardware on there because I think it looks cool. Uh, after that, another Hogue is going to be the Micro Flip, but this is the 10th anniversary one that I got in 2019. Very cool stuff. Now on to the Spider Coast. So first up, this is the Carbon Fiber Dragonfly. Uh, had to hunt this little guy down, but I really love him. He's my favorite pick, fifth pocket knife, hands down so far. Uh, next, we have a very cool Sage 5. This is the M4 Lightweight that they did at Blade HQ. This is the chocolate chip mint one with the black blade. Love this thing. Next is the Para 3s. So after I bought the Knockout, this was the next, quote, knife, the nice knife that I bought myself. Um, I don't even think I had anything between those two knives. So this was really the next one and what really got me into the hobby. After that, we have, I think, the coolest pair of three I've ever seen. Uh, this one is in Maximant. Uh, the scales have been uh, patinaed and then sealed. There's bronze hardware and a brass plague bead. Uh, yeah, that's my pirate knife right there, guys. Love that guy. And then finally, the St. Nick's Pair 3. Uh, these things are silly rare. I bought this one on the secondary. It's the only St. Nick's I've ever bought on the secondary, surprisingly, guys. 
Uh, and then after that, we have a Tanto PM2. Uh, these are super cool and super rare. I really love this one. I love these micarta scales I have on it too. Next is another St. Nick's knife. It is the St. Nick's Para 2. Um, this one was actually a gift from my wife just after I started collecting. And this is actually what got me into the dealer exclusive sprint run. So she's to thank for all of that, guys. After that is going to be the St. Nick's Shaman. Uh, really do like the Shaman. I'm thinking about putting extra, different scales on these because they're a little slick, but the Shaman is just, you know, a great, great knife. I'm going to set him right there for now, guys, and then grab the last Spyderco. This is the Spidey Chef. Now, this was Anno and Lasered with that uh, skull on there, you know, that Mandalorian uh, Mythosaur skull by McNeese Knives. Very, very cool. So let me go ahead and tuck these all back up in here, guys, and get them off the table, and I'll move on to the second row of box two. Um, now, the second row uh, is more of my American-made, I would say, mid to high end, I guess is the best way to put it, guys. Um, there's some silly nice ones here, and I love them. So first up on that row is going to be, well, I take that back. I said American made, but this is very similar to those. This is the Arno Bernard Imamba with Warthog Tusk. Very, very cool knife. Think medium Sabenza. That's the best way I can describe it, guys. Uh, after that, speaking of, this is a large Sabenza 21. Now, this is the circuit pattern. It does have a Lynch deep carry clip. I hunted one of these for a long time because... My day, to day job, guys, is working in IT, and I just had to have this when I finally found one. Uh, after that is going to be a small Sabenza 31 that has been customized by Cap City Creations. Love this texture he done there. And he put a cool double thumb stud. This is also sporting a deep carry lynch clip. After that is my uh, McNeese knives that I have. This is going to be the Auto from Blade Show. Uh, really do like this guy, just fires, absolutely just, yeah. Really hard hitting, hollow ground knife, super cool. Uh, next is gonna be my uh, favorite knife of 2021, the prototype of the th Mac 2 3.5. Now, this is hollow ground with the prototype, but he's starting to make these in hollow ground, the new ones. Uh, get you one. I, I really like this knife still, so great, great knife. Uh, after that is the standard Mac 2. Now, this is the Plague one with his collaboration with the Plague Skulls in there. Really, really cool little knife. Uh, next is my Koenigs. So, this is going to be my mini goblin that has been customized by Cap City Creation. Uh, there you go. Has that cool little bark texture on there. This is such a cool little knife. I'm so happy to have one in the collection. Uh, next is going to be an Arius. Now this is a red CF Arius. This is batch one gen four. So I got it, I believe it was like 2020, like January, 2020, um, I believe. But yeah, guys, this thing is super cool. It might've been 2021 of January, but still batch one, really like that thing. Uh, after that is my flipperless Arius. Now this is, I hope I can get it in the light for you guys, a bronze and bright wash blade. There were 14 of these made for Blade Show. One went to uh, Tim Reeve. The other 13 were for sale. I managed to get one. Uh, yeah, it's super cool. Really do like this guy. Uh, up next is the Spartans, guys. This is going to be the Spartan Palace. Uh, that mirror edge is courtesy of Niche Designs. That thing is killer. And uh, this thing is pretty damn fidgety. After that is my my lovely, lovely Harsey with the Kraken pattern. Because, of course, I have the Kraken pattern. Come on, guys. It's Screaming Pirate EDC. After that is going to be my Hinderers. This one just landed, just came in. This is going to be my Flipperless Eclipse. Uh, I have a different scale coming in, and I might bronze out that side. But, yeah, this thing is awesome. Love the Flipperless Eclipse so far, guys. Uh, after that is the XM18 Bowie. Now, this was bronzed here and a battle flag on the back by Witty over at USA Made Blade, and it even has that cool 2021 filler tab. 
Uh, and then one that I don't think I can ever replicate again. This is going to be my Eclipse. I have an aftermarket disc here um, that I've talked about in my videos. Oh, a fire tech guys, I am so sorry. It is late for me here. Uh, filler tab from USA Made Blade, Battle Black, and a scale from Hinderer. Pretty damn cool. All right, guys, that row is done. Let's go on to the next one. This is going to be the knife that was in my uh, logo originally. This is the Isotope. Um, now, all of my Vero knives are number 14. It's just something that Joseph and I started doing together. Uh, if he does a run of something, I typically can request 14. Him and I have been friends for quite a while. Guys uh, do love his work. Um, but yeah, this is the knife that was uh, in the logo for a while. Next up is the very first Vero I got of number 14. This is going to be the Impulse. This is Impulse Batch 1. Um, there are not many of these in the wild. There are only a hundred of them. And, uh, this is number 14. So love this guy. Uh, next up is batch one of the synapse. So not the large, not the small, the regular synapse. Um, really cool to have one of these in the collection. Next we have my Michael Birch knives. Uh, this one, oh gosh, is going to be the Secant. He did a limited run. These are Rayot made. He did a massively limited run on these and uh, really cool to have something from Michael Birch that's that crazy smooth in the collection. Uh, speaking of Michael Birch, gotta have a Danger Pickle because of course I have a Danger Pickle in the collection. I said that was the last Spyderco a little bit ago. I was wrong, I apologize. Uh, always love the Danger Pickle, puts a smile on my face. Uh, next is my only Urban EDC knife right now. Uh, that is in my collection. There is going to be an Urban EDC knife in my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. If you haven't seen that, it's the Recluse slip, slip Joint. It's pretty damn cool. So this was originally just a brass and satin F5.5. All of this blacked out was done for me. Um, this was done by River's Edge Cutlery and they did a killer job. I have not seen another one like this. It's really cool having something that unique. Uh, next is my only Isham. Uh, may he rest in peace, guys, but this is the Pleroma. It's a super cool knife, an integral that he did with Wii Knives. He always had some really cool designs, and I just wanted one for myself. After that is uh, another exclusive, because you know me, uh, this was the USA Made Blade uh, exclusive in M4 and this red and black CF of the Spider Monkey from Southern Grind. Next up is my wear knives, Lucas P, but this doesn't look like everyone else's. This blue on the, on the studs here and this faux bolster were all done by Cap City Creations. Very, very cool. After that, we have the Brian Brown Jaeger. Uh, now this one was done by, I believe, Fanatic Edge. Uh, very cool knife, love having one in the collection and uh, one that I plan on keeping around for a damn near long time. Uh, after that, we have one of, I think like five or less. This is the Stormtrooper Arcane Design Crawler. It's really cool having a limited run of this thing. Israel does great stuff. He's been very good to the channel and uh, yeah, good friend and uh, very cool knife. After that, we have my Chavez group knife, 2021. Uh, now this is the scapegoat and he's doing the group knives in this like lava flow CF. So very cool knife. If you're looking to get a Chavez, I say track down a scapegoat. I, it is my favorite Chavez. With that being said, I just picked up another Chavez this is the copper scaled Sangre. Uh, now this is from Urban EDC Supply with their uh, own little like texture on there. I forgot what they call it, but it's super, super cool. Great, great warning. Like this knife a whole lot. After that is gonna be my full size thumb stud J Cape. Uh, I really love this two-tone configuration. I have the aftermarket clip that he sold on his website here. Much better than the stock one. Very cool knife. Super smooth. All right, guys, that is row three. Let's head up to row four for the Protex. 
So this is the Protec Malibu. Now this is the one that they had in Blade Show Texas in this blue texture with the abalone uh, button. And of course, if I can get it there for you guys, it has to be number 14 because you know, why not? Uh, after that is going to be the Runt 5. I love this one with this uh, beautiful button and then also this bronze. I love this bronze guy. I think it's a tie coated bronze. It has really patinaed well as you can see there from under the clip. Super, super cool little knife. After that is going to be the Rock Eye and this is actually the Operator Rock Eye. I really like this guy. You know, the, uh, the stealthy all black is pretty damn gnarly. Next up is the, uh, oh, so good ATCF. Now this is the Terzola collaboration. I, guys, this might be my favorite auto ever. <laughs> it just fires, it's comfy in hand. You know, it, you can do that kind of stabbing motion because Terzola does a lot of like, you know, actually like self-defense stuff. But if I put my thumb right there in front of that, guys, that's comfy. I like this knife, this is a cool ass knife. Um, and then lastly, my final one is, I believe this is the Whisker. This is the one where you pull up on that side panel and it pops out. Uh, had these at Blade Show Texas and I nabbed one because uh, hell yeah. Next up is my only Microtech. This is gonna be the Ultratech Bounty Hunter. Uh, Bounty Hunters are always cool and in demand and I'm a big Boba Fett fan myself. So uh, this one is sticking around. All right, guys, after that we have the touch knives, oh, let me get them into focus, Click. Now, the Click was only available at Blade Show Atlanta for the production knife. They're gonna have more soon. Uh, this thing is so damn cool, guys, because obviously there's an auto to it, but if you just pull this back this way, it's a manual now. Yeah, these are badass. Uh, if you like small Ur knives and the multi-deployment is your thing, you're gonna want one of these. After that, we have the Christian Knife Works Maverick S. Now, this is the tie one with, you know, all the uh, accoutrement, as it were, with the hardware. But the Micarta one is also part of my 3K subscriber giveaway. So uh, if you want one of these bad boys or the Urban EC uh, Recluse, uh, maybe you should tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. But yeah, do love this guy. Fits really well in hand, very comparable to the Jaeger. After that, we have the Wee Knives Vision R. Now, this one was, I think, one of the prototype models from Blade Show that was picked up by my buddy Jake over at Bearded Gear, and he actually sold it to me. Um, lots of people are getting these in now, but super, super interesting knife. Uh, I really like it. Very, very slim and fidget friendly. After that, the very popular, probably my knife of the year, guys. I'm gonna be honest. The Factor by Winter Blade Co. Uh, I know I hyped the hell out of this knife and I told a lot of reviewers it was really damn good. And then I handed it to them at Blade Show and everyone went, oh, sh that's really damn good. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, this thing is just, I, I love this knife. If you haven't seen the review, go check it out. This is just, you know what, it's not even going back to the case, it's going in my pocket, okay? Let me put it that way, guys. I like it that much. After that, I'm gonna have my lovely assistant slash wife start handing me some of these guys because they're all the way over there. Uh, this is going to be the Fenrir. Now, this is a Sparrow Knife Works design and was made by Cancept Knives. It has this cool like reverse bolster. Uh, very cool knife, very stabby. Obviously this is the blacked out one, but stud you can reverse flick and the front flip is damn good guys, damn good. Right around $200, I really like these. Uh, after that, we have the Sharp by Design oh, Mini Tempest. Now I got the Bowie because I love a Bowie blade. I love this inset on this carbon fiber and they nailed, nailed the detent on these. They are perfect. They're so smooth, 
Just a beautiful front flipper, guys. Get you one of these if you like front flippers. Uh, after that is going to be my one of my pinas here. This is going to be the large Apache. Uh, now this is in I think ebony wood uh, handles that came directly from Pena. Uh, fits well in a large glove hand. Very very cool little gentleman's knife. Uh, after that, so guys, this knife has taken all my buddies by storm. This is the Pena X Series Bravo. Now they has like a copper backspacer and collars here. I have the black one. Guys, this thing is killer in hand. So smooth. The action is just phenomenal on these. If you can get a Bravo, get a Bravo. <laughs> All right, guys, final row. Let's go ahead and start up top. We're going to have the big boy, the ever cool Renegade EDC Gungnir. Uh, now, this one has been bronzed out for me by my buddy MB Wild, but this thing is a giant pocket cleaver. It doesn't feel giant in the pocket, and uh, he's coming out with more cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned to Renegade EDC, guys. Uh, after that is going to be my only Demco right now, guys. This is my 20.5 in... 3v i plan on getting some or goat scales for this but yeah definitely wanted one in 3v after that is going to be my trm atom sporting some of their new fat carbon scales uh, these are super cool pick these up at blade show while talking to marianne really really nice after that we have my only shiro but i don't care it is my f95 r in L. Uh, this thing, yes, it is a 3.75 inch blade, but look at that inlay and the texture on this thing is just phenomenal. This might have the most buttery action of any knife, guys, even more so than an Arius. It is just incredible what they're doing. After that is going to be my brown knives, Cortex. Uh, I picked this up at Blade Show 2021. Super cool blade, and yeah, it's just really cool having a brown knives in the collection. After that is the very coveted Roosevelt. Now, I picked up this Roosevelt in Magna Cut with the golf putter and the Zerku tie at Blade Show this year. Yeah, guys, this is a, this is a collection knife, and uh, don't go offering on it. That's all I got to say about that one. Ergonomics are as good as they say, very slim in pocket, fits a large glove really well, and the double D10 balls, guys, just action is crazy good. After that is getting into my Trevor Burgers. Now, this is going to be the EXK, has a micarta inlay. Uh, love his sheep's foot's designs. After that is gonna be the LEXK, and so this one is a frame lock. See with that texture on the back and this beautiful fat carbon scale. I picked this up from Fort Henry Custom Knives. I really like the sheep's foot on this, partly because you can finger flick it. Really, really cool. Uh, after that is the Urban. Now this is the small one from him that he did in a small batch. And of course it's number 14, because of course guys. Oh, let me get him. He is really small for my hand, guys. Like, I am a little, little scrunched on this guy, and uh, sometimes it is hard for me to flip. Let me do him again so I don't embarrass myself on camera. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is the Urban, and this is going to be the XL Urban that I just got in. So this is a darkened tie, blue hardware, and a blue fat carbon inlay. Beautiful, beautiful inlay. Great, great knife. Fits my hand so much better than the regular urban. All right, guys, we are in the final four now. These are gonna be my custom knives. So first up is my Sparrow Knife Co. Strix. I won this in a lottery after uh, Blade Show Texas. Uh, really cool knife that Greg actually made and then submitted to Best New Maker, so he wouldn't let me take it home till Sunday and played Show Atlanta. Uh, but this is Vintage Butterscotch Micarta with a black hole Damascus blade, clip, and backspacer. 
This thing is just beautiful and Greg just knocked it out of the park. Love this knife. Guys, this is probably the custom maker you need to be paying attention to more than any other for me right now. He does killer work. After that is uh, the crown jewel of the collection, guys. This is High New number six. Now, this is a collaboration between Keenison and Brian Brown. Like I said, number six, there are only six of these in the wild. This is, I believe, a Thor's Damascus. Okay, there. Beautiful Timascus clip there and backspacer. Okay. And this is a Carbo Quartz handle. So it's a carbon fiber and uh, some kind of titanium infused handle. I don't quite know. I'd have to ask Brian over at Keenison, but this thing is just... This thing is art, guys. This is the epitome for me of custom knives so far. And uh, yeah, love, love, love this piece. After that is another custom that I picked up at Blade Show. This is going to be the Maverick Customs Saber. Uh, now this is Koa Wood Inlays, and this is actually an integral that he did this hammered backspacer. Uh, super, super cool. Uh, one of the first knives I picked up at Blade Show Really cool meeting the man behind the knives that I've heard so much about. And then lastly, guys, is my Matthew Ware Nugget. Now, this is number 21. I think this was made a couple years ago. I don't even remember now, guys. Uh, my Carta with this, uh, I think it's a Zerkutai or a Timascus collar. There, there, and clip, and backspacer. Crazy cool knife from Matthew. Uh, yeah, really cool having a wear in the collection considering how hard they are to get right now. But yeah, guys, that rounds out the entire collection. So that is all 102 knives. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you do, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Affiliate links in the description. And I'll catch you on the next one.